Darren, what did you learn about your team on Saturday in that defeat? No, I didn't. In terms of as players, I think every game we play, we just need to keep learning from, and I need to take the bits out of it that are real key bits. And what we spoke, about, I spoke about earlier. Certainly, in the middle of the pitch is an area that I don't want us to be dribbling in, and we did, we just lost our rhythm in that bit. Uh, we didn't hurt them enough in the last third, and the goals we gave away were poor. So we just need to make sure that you know. I think towards the end of the game when they were dropping off we, we got a foothold in it again and to be fair my players credit to them we kept going and, and it's important that we got that goal because we've scored in every game this season that is important to me and to the players but certainly looking back at it I think it was a missed opportunity the way we started the game The fact that you have scored in every game it's a great indicator that your side can do it going forwards as well Yeah I feel we've got the way we play and the players we've got they both suit each other and I think we do create a lot of chances in games um, we didn't on Saturday but generally we do uh, we need to get more clean sheets that's that's crystal clear that we need to start getting more clean sheets How disappointed is it that you've not got an FA Cup run to look forward to? I'm disappointed and the players knew that after the game and the players are disappointed we're all disappointed whatever team I was to pick on Saturday and I know there was eight changes and it might seem a bit dramatic but it, I mean Two of them were made because of the illness of the two lads turned up, but I felt whatever team I picked and the team I did pick were good enough to beat Oldham. There was, in my mind, no question, but of course you've got to get the performance and I can't let it just take really for the two goals we gave away. They're really soft. The, you say that you don't actually mind the Checker Trade Trophy mm -hmm. as a competition. What does it give to you as a manager? It gives me one uh, um, opportunities to, to play the squad, well, I'll call them the squad players, the players that have not been in the team. It gives them time, match time. It's been a good tournament for people like Alfie Beeston where I can gradually just ease him in, but he's obviously now showing that through them games he's got that confidence. So it's been really good for us as a club, I feel. I think it's a good tournament. I've always treated it the same. I've, I've been really fortunate to win it as a manager and a player. I know what it can bring to a, to a team and to a club and to the community if you go all the way. And that's, you know, we'll, we'll try and go as far as we can, but I've got to be mindful that we know the number one target. Does it surprise you that there's such a disdain towards it across, almost elsewhere, everyone else seems to think that it's become a bit of a joke, really, this year? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I agree with that entirely, because at the end of the day, that what well, they've changed, they've brought Cat 1 teams into it, which, for a manager, it's different ways of playing against different teams playing against a lot more technical players. No disrespect, but they are, because they're at you know, these typically premiership clubs, maybe against different systems. So for me as a manager, I think it's a good test. Um, and I don't think we can really look at it and, and start praising it or criticising it until the end of the actual year and the tournament's finished. But I've, no, I've got no complaints about it at all. And maybe some people... I don't know, use it as an excuse that they're, they're pretending not to be that interested so it doesn't really matter, whereas I've, from day one, been focusing on having a good tournament. And how tough will Paul Vale be tomorrow? Yeah, it's always difficult when, you know, a team have got a big squad and they'll probably change players and uh, we've obviously had them watch, but, you know, they're not in our league and things like that. So it can be a little bit, what I was just saying earlier is we, we try and focus on what formation they have been playing, they may change it, of course. And then really the key for us tomorrow is what we've worked on today is, is focusing on how we can perform. That's going to be the most important thing tomorrow.